Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to start looking at databases and we're going to look at creating the code that um, actually can create a database in Android. Now Android comes with um, the SQLite database built into it so we'll, we'll use that, it's, um, it's a fully functional relational database and we'll use it here in this um, series of tu tutorials to store the sequence of points that the um, the user clicks on this image as a sort of um, pass key to get into the next screen. So we want a database table that's capable of storing points. And um, I'm gonna right click here and create a new class and I'm going to encapsulate all my database functionality in one class um, which I'm going to call database since I've only got one of them and I'm going to say that database extends a class called SQLite open helper so this class here and that's an abstract class so I'm going to click this error message and go to add unimplemented methods and we've got an on create method here and an on upgrade and I'm also going to um, click again and create a constructor here. But in fact, um, this constructor you'll see has four arguments. And I only want to pass in the first argument. And you'll see why in a minute. Now the context is going to be, um, for the context I'm going to pass in a reference. Uh, the this reference from the activity that I use this database from name is the name of the database and SQLite actually stores databases um, in files that you usually give a .db extension so I'm just going to call this um, let's call it um, note note squirrel .db or actually I could call it note .db uh, it doesn't have to be unique because it's only going to be um, kind of private to this application anyway um, yeah, so anything really is fine. And uh, the um, factory here, I'm just going to set to null. We won't, won't bother with that. And uh, the version here, I'll set to 1. And the kind of SQLite Open Helper has um, kind of automatic facility for upgrading your database. But I'm, I'm not going to use it here. I'm just going to create the database. So um, we've, that's the constructor finished and I'm going to go back to my image activity class and uh, image activity is this is the activity that I want to use that database and I want it to store points or to be able to check points against the ones stored in the database when the user clicks the image so I'm going to give it here a private uh, database um, I'll call it db equals new database I'll just give it an instance of that class that I've created so that I can work with it here and um, I've got to pass in the this reference here um, so and yeah that should do the trick okay and let's go back to database now and now in in create here I I need to execute some SQL that will actually create my database so um, let's have a string here string SQL and this has got to be the cr database creation SQL and um, once I've formed that string I'll say db.exec SQL and just pass that in and that will create my database now uh, you're probably wondering when onCreate gets called and the answer is um, that it's, it's not it's not called when you run the constructor it's called when you try to use your database and in this tutorial I won't be using the database so I'm just focusing on setting setting it up so um, we won't create it here but this on create method um, is kind of intelligently run the first time you actually try to do something with the database so um, we don't have to worry about running it ourselves and the uh, if we just go to Google and type in here SQL Lite data types, um, you can find of course lots of documentation on the SQLite website. 
and uh, you can work with these um, data types here. And I'm just going to use integer because I just want to store an ID, a row ID, plus uh, X and Y coordinates. But you can see you've also got real text and blob. So there's a variety of types there. And for the database creation code, I'm going to say, um, uh, well, actually, this this is going to create the database. Um, the fact that you've I've specified a database name here, and uh, the the database will be created automatically when you try to do something with it. But in fact, what we want to create here is not the database, uh, but just a table. So I'm going to say here, create table, and we'll call this table points and I know I need to specify my um, columns in brackets here so I'm going to have um, ID um, uh, let's put it in uppercase so it doesn't matter ID integer primary key and let's have X integer not null and Y integer not null and that should do the trick for my database creation code. So um, I just have the one table at the moment and um, in the next tutorial we'll get on to doing some stuff with this database but I, I think I'll leave it there for the moment because there's not much more to be done on actually creating the database. So join me again next time and until then happy coding.